Something to remember here is that this is a philosophy paper, not a science paper. You do need to know the scientific views of the origins of the universe, but you will be expected to be able to relate the scientific views to the religious view. For example, can the views be reconciled? Are they in direct conflict? How does the methodology differ? This film will outline the scientific views and consider the methodology used to come to conclusions. There will be some reference to the religious responses to scientific hypotheses. This theory was originally proposed in 1948 by Bondi, Gold and Hoyle. It was based on an extension of something called the perfect cosmological principle. The steady state theory says that there is no beginning or end of the universe. It has always been here, so there is not a single event which caused it to begin. At any one point in time, the universe should basically look the same. Having said this, the universe is known to be expanding. Supporters of the steady state theory pointed out that if the universe is expanding, but no new matter is created, then there would be a gradual decrease in density. As a result, they hypothesized that matter was continually being created out of nothing. The amount was undetectably small, about a few atoms for every cubic mile each year. This means that new galaxies are created to fill the gaps left by old ga galaxies. The importance of this theory for religion is that if there was no beginning to the universe, then there is no need for a first cause or designer. If these scholars could provide empirical evidence to support their hypothesis, if it could be verified, then God is superfluous to requirements. The idea of matter being able to generate itself out of nothing with no need for a cause is clearly directly in conflict with the idea of a creator God. An attempt to suggest a kind of integration or dialogue would require God to be part of the universe or would be reduced to creating things within it rather than being the creator of the whole. This is not the God of classical theism and so in fact it cannot work with traditional Christianity. It reduces God to a God of the gaps. Religious people may have objected to the idea of matter generating itself out of nothing and at this point referred to God, but such a conclusion cannot be supported by empirical or mathematical data, whereas the idea of a universe bringing about matter by itself potentially could be supported. In fact, through quantum physics it has. This scientific theory has largely been abandoned due to the Big Bang theory. Big Bang proponents suggest that 10 to 20 billion years ago, a massive blast brought all the universe's matter, energy, space and time into being. In an instant, a trillion trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, the universe expanded with incomprehensible speed from its pebble-sized origin to astronomical scope. Expansion has continued but slowed as time has gone on. The reason that this theory has replaced the steady state theory is that there were three significant pieces of empirical evidence that led scientists to the conclusion. Notice here that evidence was discovered first before the conclusion was drawn. The first piece of evidence was that the universe is expanding and this was observed with the use of the Hubble telescope. Hubble expected to look into space and see that everything was moving in different directions, but in fact things seemed to be moving from a central point. In addition, the separations between galaxies do appear to be becoming larger and larger. This means that if scientists trace the movement of the galaxies back, they used to be extremely close together before some kind of explosion. The second piece of evidence is the abundance of helium and other nuclei in the universe. These could have been produced by hot, dense and expanding environment. Thirdly, and this was the most important piece of evidence, Penze and Wilson were able to detect background microwave radiation, the afterglow of an explosion from every direction in the universe. All this leads to a number of potential religious responses. Either we could postulate that there is an explanation for the beginning of the universe, the Big Bang explains where everything came from and there is no need for God. Alternatively, we could suggest that there must be a cause of the Big Bang. Explosions cannot take place unless there is matter to explode and there must be something that set this whole process off. This could be God. 
significantly here since scientists have arrived at the Big Bang Theory as a result of empirical and mathematical investigation. They have begun by observing evidence and then deduced a conclusion as a result. Conclusions are tested and subjected to falsification procedures to ensure that they are accurate. As new information comes to light, hypotheses are altered, rejected or confirmed. The moment that religious conclusions are drawn from this, we move outside the realms of what science can do. Science cannot test the hypothesis that God was the first cause. Stephen Hawking has combined Einstein's general relativity theory and quantum physics in order to come to an understanding of the origin of the universe. As a result, he suggests that to ask what came before the Big Bang is like asking what is south of the South Pole. It's a meaningless question. The Big Bang was an event that brought all matter, energy, space and time into being. If the Big Bang was the beginning of time, then there was no before the Big Bang. In addition, using M-theory, Hawking and Hartle propose that it is possible for the universe to spontaneously generate itself out of nothing. They give an analogy of the surface of the boiling pan of water where bubbles are constantly generated, appearing and disappearing, like mini-universes, where they expand and then contract. A universe or bubble which grows big enough to, could be safe from collapse, and this could continue to expand. All this means that there is no need to postulate God as the beginning of the universe. In fact, to do so would make a meaningless statement, since there can be no outside the universe and there can be no before. This can all be arrived at via the use of maths, physics and by, via the observation of the workings of the universe. Significantly, all this points to a universe that has come about as a result of a blind accident rather than as a deliberate intentional act. It has come about through chance or even necessity, not because an intelligence or purposeful design. This would appear to be in direct conflict with the religious approach.